Tristan Frenzen makes his way into the blue corner. Tristan Frenzen fighting out of Moorhead, Kentucky by way of Six Lakes, Michigan. This is his debut, but he trains out of Davis Karate, and we've seen quite a bit of that gym lately, and everybody from there looks sharp. Yeah, all the way back through New Line, we've seen a lot of Davis Karate practitioners, so always looking forward to their guys. And he will be fighting John Sko, hometown favorite from Ashland, Kentucky here, training out of Tartarus MMA. We've seen a lot of high quality people come out of Tartarus MMA. You know, John Sko has only been training for a few months, but I've seen some footage of him sparring and he looks good. He's got tight punches. He looks fluid. He just looks, uh, looks like a natural, a little bit of a natural when it comes to uh, striking. And we've seen uh, a good mixture of people out of Tartarus MMA. We see uh, Swan in his corner, who normally referees our uh, Brazilian. It's far now. I can't stand training in it. Yeah, I. We have a kicking boxing match. Fighting out of the blue corner from Moorhead, Kentucky. He weighed 142.4 pounds. Tristan Franzen. <laughs> Out of the red corner, he's from Ashland, Kentucky, weighing 146.8 pounds, John Scone. Here are the big hometown crowd pop for the red corner there, John Scone. And they touch gloves and we are underway. See a pretty good rear kick to the body there from both gentlemen actually to start the fight. Front kick followed by one two and from Tristan Franson. Yeah, with that Davis Karate, you see them using a lot of that toes back, digging into the body. And you see a more traditional Muay Thai and kickboxing style from Sko. And Sko is able to keep in his face, which generally favors that Thai style. But Franson's doing a good job in there too. It's that was beautiful leg, leg kick. kick. Well timed, caught him when he was up on one foot throwing his own kick. Ooh, a nice straight right hand. And as I said, you see, for a guy who's only trained for a few months, Sko looks sharp. Yeah. He doesn't look wild. Good right hand to the body followed by a leg kick. And, and what I like is he's putting punches together. He's not throwing just one. He's throwing two and three every time. And he's put several of those leg kicks hard into the thigh of Franzen. Franzen's getting overwhelmed a little bit here, but he's still throwing some heavy shots and trying to make, make Sko respect him here. And he's using that uh, kick to the body from the southpaw, which oftentimes pays a lot of dividends as you're getting up into the liver. Nice straight punches there. From I Franzen like his 2-3 as, well. as well. Yep. Well, he eats a nice counter right hand there. He'll throw that 2-3 body kick, and I think that's his best combination. We see him switching stances pretty fluidly as well, which you see that a lot in the karate and traditional martial arts practitioners, the ability to switch stances smoothly. Oh, a good hard leg kick there from, from Sko. I think Sko is sitting down on his punches a little bit more than Franson. Oh, yeah, real, good. that caught him. That was a good real one. low to the groin, or real high to the groin. Yeah, good. That was a bad Solid one. low blow there. We're going to see a few minutes here. For then we'll see both guys in the corner, unless something bananas happens in these nine seconds. And here we go. Oh my God! Solid punch gets us a standing eight count here. Can you believe that? Wow! Crazy ending to that round. And I believe that 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 well, obviously uh, kind of shores that round up for John Sko. Here we go. Big straight right from John Sko. Oh, really and it does! Him. The ropes held him up. Oh my God! Let's see if he got that kind of chin seconds. up. Here we go. And let's see it one more time. Oh, and it does! From Sko. Sko just stays in the pocket and keeps throwing, and eventually yeah. something's going to land when you do that. And he was connecting with the majority of the solid shots, I believe, in that round. Very tightly contested before that. It would have been a hard one to score, but I think now uh, probably. Well, that's an interesting one depending on how the judges scored it, right? Because I think with the knockdown in these kickboxing rules, we, we could either have a 9-9 or, or a 10-8, depending on which way that went. So. I think that round went to Sko, so I think you're looking at a 10-8 round there. I would agree. That's how I would have scored it personally. But. 
you never know, but uh, as far as me watching it, Sko looked really sharp that first round. But it's not like Franson didn't have his moments as well. I, he looks really sharp. And it looks to me like Scowl was probably trying to use a lot of those low kicks to counter the karate style, which is one of the uh, classic things, right, when people see. So you've got Colin Caprini from up in northern West Virginia, up in Morgantown. He's, he's highfalutin. He says Scowl, and I say Sko because I'm a hillbilly. I've gone back and forth between both of them because I don't know which one's right. So I figure at least half of the time I'll say his name correctly. That's genius. Beginning around two. He goes that right was a hard work. low kick. Yeah, he goes right back to work on that lead leg. But Franzen's moving forward through it. And he looks clear-eyed. He doesn't yeah. look hurt. He's maintaining his composure. I'd like he, to see him tuck that chin a little more. Yeah. Oh, another low blow. Yep. Yeah. You know, it gets to the point. You, you, you keep doing it. Ref's going to have to take a point. Yes, yeah, and Matt Jones takes his job very seriously. I suspect we'll probably see at the very least a stern warning here. That was a nasty one, too. I'm interested to see if Sko takes advantage of that and tries to uh, put the pressure on right here. Touch of gloves there. Franz is wise to it now. He's getting his hands busy, keeping him off of him. He is. Franzen looks like a man on a mission right now. He does. He lands, he lands a good straight jab there as well as a right hand behind it. They're trading right now. Busy in the pocket from both of these guys. And we're seeing the kick offense slow down. Oh! Oh, good head kick just as I Slides said. Slides right oh, through the guard. A nice knee to the body while he grabs the head. See a little problem with the headgear adjustment there. And here in Kentucky, you can grab and throw knees to the body. You're that knee to the body was excellent yeah. from Franz, and I'd like to see more of those. Let's go doing good work on the inside again there, but... Franzen lands some good punches in that exchange as I well. I think Franz is having more success this round than he did in the last one. There's another knee to follow yeah. that combination. Yeah, nice right knee to the body. But there, Sko comes back and lands some big shots. And Franzen kind of got back up against the right. Oh, there. there's a huge right hand in the middle of that combination. Sko's footwork looks a lot smoother oh. right now. <laughs> that left hook was blistering. Yeah. And he's uh, pouring it on. He smells blood now. I believe he thinks he has Franzen hurt here, which he might, yep. Yeah. Oh! Yeah. Moment there. He had a moment there where I think he, he thought he and was going to And I think this is it, ladies down. and gentlemen. He's hurt bad. No. Clears the cobwebs. He's going to make it to round three. That was wise by Franzen, too. He, uh, Very good. he took his time, his time yeah. getting up to recover. Oh! <laughs> and just as we thought... That he was going to keep going, and the fight gets stopped. Excellent work from John Sko. Ladies and gentlemen, after in the second round we have a winner. Your winner by knockout, round two, John Sko. Now, my friend, you've not been doing this too long, but judging by your fight, you can't tell it. You look fluid out there, sharp, excellent performance. You came away with the knockout. How does it feel? Feels good. So talk me through the fight. You had a tough opponent there. Really had a lot of heart. Did you think uh, you think you were going to put him away there at the end of the round? We were kind of surprised. I'll be there for a second round knockout. That's what I got. You saw there in the corner, you were smelling blood. Did you feel the finish coming? So what's next? Um, I'm gonna work on my jiu-jitsu and hope for MMA. I'm gonna take another kickboxing class on that and hope to make it to MMA soon. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for John Scott.